Hey everyone, happy and blessed new year. I know it has been a little minute since I've been on doing a Facebook Live or even posting a video. I am just, you know, like all of you, reflecting and being grateful uh, for making it through 2021. And then now I'm positioning myself to receive everything that God has for me in 2022 and being all who God has called and created me to be. I pray that that is the same mindset that you have um, I just want to encourage you don't do it don't be stuck in 2021 you know a lot of people are stuck with the feelings of regret constantly replaying the things that you did uh, that didn't turn out right the bad decisions you made the bad connections all of those things listen regret will keep you stuck in the past and you have nothing you have no power to change what has already happened but you do have the power to affect what's happening now and definitely influence what happens in your future be careful about the words you speak over yourself beloved be careful about the words that you speak over over your marriage, over your family, over your children, over your finances, over your situation. Your words have power and whatever you speak manifests. So be careful of receiving the spirit of fear. Don't say that you're anxious. Don't say that you're depressed. When you say those things, you invite the enemy to come in uh, with his plans. Speak the word of God so that your words will agree with what God is saying and invite him to to be a part of what you are doing. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be stuck in an old with your old mindset trying to step into a new year. An old mindset in a new year is going to cause you to repeat the previous year. And I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to repeat anything about 2021. I want everything that God has for me in 2022. Father God, I thank you for every person that's listening under the sound of my voice. We decree and we declare that we we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are children of the Most High King. And that means that we have the power, according to the power given to us by the Holy Spirit, to overcome. And we refuse to be stuck in the past, Father God. We forgive ourselves. We forgive others. We release those things, those experiences, and those relationships that we need to release in order to move forward. We refuse to be stuck in a year that is over, God. Father God, we want everything that you have for us, everything you wanna do in us, through us, and for us. And so this is our decree for 2022, that we release 2021, it's gone, it's not here anymore, and we step boldly into 2022. Give us the wisdom, give us the courage, give us the strength, give us the discernment to position ourselves to receive everything you have for us, God, and to be who you've called and created us to be nothing more and nothing less in Jesus mighty name amen and amen if you believe and receive this receive this type that in the chat say I believe I receive and just say no more I am not gonna be stuck I am moving forward have a blessed day y'all and happy new year <laughs>